Hi everyone, so I want to talk about why you should not worry about your symptoms as much as you probably do. Now, this is really common. I get this nearly every time someone adds me or talks to me and they go through all the symptoms they have and if they don't match mine exactly, therefore they need to find something else to do. And this is going to get them in a continuous cycle of trying to find something that isn't going to be found. It's just not. Um, the comparison I'd like to make is you can have two people with cancer and one will lose their hair and one won't. The symptoms don't really matter. The, the main thing that matters is the main problem, which is the deterioration of the body. Both of them have cancer. One's lost their hair, one hasn't. If that one that didn't lose their hair goes, oh, I didn't lose my hair, therefore I don't really have cancer. They could just go on to not treat cancer and end up dying or some, I don't know, something like that. Stop worrying about the symptoms so much. You, I mean, you need to go and fix key things in your life to help your body recover. If you're constantly wor trying to figure out what your symptoms mean, you're going to be there for years. This is what I did for, like, no joke, like, three, four years. I used to be on forums every day, Cure Zone and all these different places, searching YouTube. Uh, I would listen to a testimony of someone that used a grounding mat or something and say, oh, I was tired all the time, I had this, and I'd be like, oh, shit, I have that. So I'd go and try all those things, and it never led anywhere. Um, all the times when someone did give me good advice, I would listen to their story, and they'd go, they would say something that I couldn't relate to, and I would then go, oh, I better keep looking then. And it's just this ever-ending circle where you don't actually fix anything. You don't fix anything. And a lot of people want a cure that doesn't exist. Like, um, they want something easy. They want something like a IV antibiotic or IV vitamin C to recover over a two-week period or something. They want something simple. And there is nothing simple to recovering from chronic illness. There just isn't. Uh, it would be very nice if I could have shorted my year recovery with a two-week uh, IV course of vitamin C, but it's just not. It's not the reality. You can't. That's never going to work. You have to understand that. Uh, so the basic what I'm trying to say is stop worrying about your symptoms so much and focus on doing good things. Stop. Um, stop looking for something that isn't there just focus on doing things you can do and you know keep consistent and although it's difficult you just have to do it if you want to recover there's no easy way out of a chronic illness it's a full-time job that's what i'm starting to tell people now is expect a full-time job expect this to be really difficult all these changes i'm asking you to make to be very are going to be very difficult don't expect it to be a breeze the thing is, you can accept the information, but without putting it into action, you're not going to recover. Uh, I've spoke to my friend that was diagnosed in the last video that I was talking about, and he's not made a change yet, because he hasn't fully crashed yet. I really believe that people have to be rock bottom, crashed on the floor, with not wanting to live another day before they make all the changes that I recommend. They hear the advice, and they go... It sounds very simple, very easy, very uh, easy to do or whatever. And they go away and they start to implement these things and they start to realize that actually this is going to take a lot more effort than I first thought. And this is the thing, people get so caught up in trying to find this miracle cure because they don't want to have to do that. That's a simple truth. Uh, most of the time, for most people, they don't want to have to make all these changes. So, I can't force you to do these changes. I can't force you. You, you have to come to a, a conclusion on your... You have to come to the... I don't know what I'm trying to say. You have to come to the realisation yourself of wanting to do it. I can't force anyone to do these things. Like, I've had one person to ask ask me to convince them to make these changes, it's like, no, you either take it or you leave it, you're, you're either going to go away and do these changes and 
lead a better lifestyle toward recovery or you are going to come back in a year's time and wish you started a year ago but that's up to you that's your choice that's what I can't force you to do anything you just have to go away and think about it yourself I've given you the information you have to act on it you have to be consistent you have to do all these changes you have to be willing to make it your full-time job to recover from a chronic illness and search for answers on top of the ones I've already given you and make it your full-time job to recover and be consistent with the changes and everything otherwise you're not going to recover you can go to these forums and just um, cry with the rest of them that's, that's what I did for the first few years you just join a forum and everyone talks about how awful their life is with a chronic illness and no one ever does anything so yeah uh, like always if you have a comment or question leave it in the comments below or post it on my tumblr page uh, starting getting quite a lot of questions there from people I don't think have seen my YouTube channel before. Um, yeah, so see you in the